Right, one of the questions that we got asked when we did a survey on what people want to hear is if you could only use one bait for the whole year round for the rest of your fishing career really, wasn't it Dave? Uh, or maybe just a season, what would you choose? And to me, this is a really awkward question because I part of me would think that you could take tiger nuts anywhere and use them but they banned on a lot of water so that would rule that out uh, so then you're thinking, okay, it'd have to be a boilie. For me personally, it would be a boilie. And then I use a lot of food bait now, and uh, I also use a brightly coloured single hook bait over the top. So if it was down to just using food and using a food bait over the top, or just these, if push comes to shove, I'd use these. And you notice that they're not a dazzling yellow, these are sort of like an off colour. And uh, I've caught that many fish on these. I know I could take them every single water in the UK and catch on them. Mm -hmm. So they smell of uh, like Indian spices, curry flavour, turmeric, uh, a bit of garlic in there. They're very spicy and they just seem to work everywhere I take them. So I know I could just turn up on a two hour session, use them as hook baits. I could fish them. There's that many people putting bait in everywhere. Mm -hmm. you could, there's normally bait scattered around most lakes but these will work over the top so that would be my choice what about you Dave? well so that's really that's down to a confidence thing isn't it it's confidence yeah. it's, it's a confidence yeah. thing so you know for me if I had to use just one bait all year I'd probably go to something uh, like sweet corn maggots um, but I am primarily a boily angler and I fish with boilies um, I've started I've been starting to use this bait uh, at the moment it's a contrast bait it comes in two different colors now, to me, this is something I would take anywhere all year, yeah. um, because really it's, it's a double bubble. Um, whether the fish want to take a light bait or a darker bait, I mean, it's there. I do use bright colour pop-ups and, yeah. and bright yeah. colour bottom baits as well. Um, you know, but this is a, it's, it's a fish meal bait and uh, it's got a great smell, it's got a great record. And to me, this is probably what I would actually take to any lake. And you'd be happy with it in winter? In the I'd, be, I'd be happy with it in winter, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. You know, maybe use a bright colour bait if if I had to. You're not allowed to. I know, <laughs> <laughs> I know. But no, I would be happy with it, 100%. <laughs> definitely, definitely be happy with it. Right. All year in that. Um, you know, apart from maggots, uh, sweet corn and whatever, I am a boily angler and that's what I want to use. So, we've got a difference of opinion. I'd use these, use a, you, yeah. you'd use a food bait basically. Uh, I'm working on more of a quick hit really I suppose. Although I've had, I've had fish on these when I've left them out for a couple of days. Yeah. Uh, but I think if we don't travel anywhere without a couple of baits do we? No, really? no, never. Never. We've always got tubs of pop-ups or bottom yeah. baits or whatever. Or spot mix, bag yeah, mixes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a big, the preparation at home is one of the big aspects of my fishing and yours as well yes, isn't it, it is. yeah I'm yeah yeah so i guess yeah you know, i've got a big selection of plastic baits a strong believer in those as well I've, i wish i had a, a quid for every fish i've caught on plastic caught yeah. and uh you know just the imitation dog biscuits as yeah. well on the surface yeah. you know yeah but i think it is though frank i think it's a confidence thing yeah. i think you know a lot of it is down to confidence mm. um i've seen so many people come into a shop Buy a bag of bait one week, it didn't work. So they buy a bag of different bait. The they next go through week. everything in the shop. They go they? through everything in yeah. the shop, and then they go back to the first bait they bought, and all of a sudden it works. If only they would have stuck with that one bait the whole of the season, the chances are they would have caught more fish on it. It would have got introduced into the water. The fish would have started eating it. They would have caught on it. And I think that's what the question's more, you know. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have got a. A group mentality they see that there'd be a group of people on their water all using the same bait so they'll jump on that and then you're new to the water so your results are going to be maybe not as good as the guys yep. that are established on the bait so you might not shine like that so i think sometimes i always say it using two or three rods mm. so there's nothing wrong with experimenting and using something different than each rod but basically it's, it's very easy to confuse yourself, yeah. isn't it? You know? yeah. But buy different things on each rod. I mean, choose a, a boilie and then try you know, a solid bag with plastic corn on. Yeah. 
on one and then you might want to try maggots on another rod. Yeah. You yeah. know, maggots catch everywhere. Yeah, yeah, of course they do. You know, yeah. so yeah. you won't go far wrong trying that. But, uh, so I use this bait, I actually use a different, on two rods, I use a white one on one and a black one on the other. Yeah. And I have had occasions where the white one will go off more often than the black, and on other occasions the black one will go off more often than the white. Do you use them straight out of the bag? Yes. So you don't make balanced hook baits? I use, um, I think these are the wafter ones. Um, I've got some wafter ones here because if I'm fishing a weedy water, yeah. I'll use a long hook bait, a long rig, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. with a wafter bait on it. Yeah. Um, and these are the wafter ones. Um, I've got some white ones as well somewhere, I don't know where they are. So they're, they're an identical mix, they've just got some cork dust yeah, in them, that's an element of buoyancy. Yeah, right. so they are like a, it's a wafter bait, they move very easily on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And, that, and that's what I'll use. Um, but you know, as far as the colour goes in it, uh, it just depends on what the fish want on the day, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, you know, but it gives it, you, you, you've got two chances, you know. Well, I tend to do that when I use the food baits. In the range I do, my own personal bait, yeah. we do two baits. Uh, one's a fruity type smell and the other's a savoury one, like a curry yeah. type uh, thing, masala type thing. And I found that mixing the two, because you can never tell which one they've got a preference yeah. over. So I just mix them and they're different colours, and you definitely get a better feeding mm. response when you do that, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Uh, it can be one or the other, you never know. Mm. I can remember years ago um, fishing two different colour baits. Uh, there's a white one and a red bait. Yeah. And uh, I was on welly and I put some into the margins, and I know you fish well yeah. into country park. I put some into into the snags and I put in say 30 red ones and half a dozen white ones. Yeah. And the fish had come along and taken the white ones first. Yeah. And then we tried it again another time and put in 30 white ones and half a dozen red ones. They come along and taken the red ones first. Yeah. And it's like they're trying to compete and, and they want whatever's the least amount there so everybody else doesn't get it. Yeah, you know? yeah, and yeah. it's a really strange Cherry thing. On the cake yeah, that's syndrome. that's yeah. that's the thing, yeah. right? You know. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's, that's what I would use, um, and I'd be quite confident and very very happy with that. Yeah. Interesting. So, yeah. as I say, I would never use one. You have a multiple of no. baits, but you still have your favourites. And at the minute, this is my favourite hook bait. This yeah. One. Well, I'll have to have some of them later then. <laughs> <laughs>